Hello, this is Richard Spisano from Digital Feelers, and today I'm going to show you how you can colorize anything white. In past tutorials, you've seen how to put color on anything else. For example, if I have this picture of a guy with a t-shirt here I got from pixel.com and you can download it there too. So in past tutorials you would go make a new layer and you would change that layer to color blend and then you would start painting. So for example if I wanted to paint the jeans blue then I could do it just like that. But the problem with color blending is it does not really color white very well. You can color his face, you can color anything except whites and blacks. So what we want to do is we want to change the color of the t-shirt. So let's delete this and let's start over. So the first thing we're going to do is choose the brush selection tool and grab as much as we can of the t-shirt. Now I may not get this as a perfect selection, which I, I can tell right now. I'm hitting the alt key to get rid of what I don't want, but it's really just to show you about colors. So if it's not perfect, I apologize. You should take more time. So once that's selected, you do Command J and turn it into a new layer. And then we'll deselect. And that's it. So now we have a layer of just the t shirt. Now, right below the t shirt, let's go. Here's the background layer. And on top, we're going to select the background layer and go to Layer, New Fill Layer and we can choose any color we want. Let me just pick a different color. I'm not really sure what color to use, but let's let's try something like that maybe. Okay. We'll change it later. Now, if we if we command click on the t-shirt, let me name this t-shirt just so we're not confused. And if we command click on the photo of the t-shirt right here on the layer itself, we're selecting it. And then go to the fill layer below it and say on the bottom, add a mask to it. So now, and deselect. So now you can't see the green because there's a mask around everything else except the t-shirt. So now we can go to the t-shirt itself and hit this gear. And this is the blend if option. So in, on the blend if option, this is the underlying layer and it's saying if there's white above it, well, let me show it through. So I'm taking away linear here so I can do a curve and we can pick any kind of a decent look. I'm thinking maybe like that. You just got to play a little until you find what you think. It's a little too much. Let's go maybe like that. Okay and close that off. And just for the heck of it, just let's see, we still have more work to do, but let's go back to the fill layer and change the color to see what happens there. There's blue, green. Pick a color that you think is going to really show the contrast. Like I'm kind of liking this little bit of a mustard color. Hopefully it's showing up mustard on YouTube, but that's mustard, a little bit of yellowish mustard here. So the next thing I would like to do is on top of the t-shirt layer, oops, sorry, on top of the t-shirt layer we're going to do an adjustment layer and we'll do curves. And let's see if we can get this to go a little darker just to show some of that, some of those lines. Don't worry about the back at all. We only care about the t-shirt. We'll fix the back later. I just want to be able to see more, some more of those shadows right here. And I think that's not bad, so let's leave that. Now we select, which is command select 
the t-shirt again to bring up that selection of the t-shirt and go up to the curves and mask that. So now it's only affecting the t-shirt. So let's deselect that. So now I'm going to get rid of the background. So we only see the t-shirt and all the effects we gave to it. And we go to layer, merge visible. Okay. And now we'll hide every single thing except the background. So now he has a yellow t-shirt and since it is no longer white, now you can select that t-shirt and go to adjustments, HSO, which is hue, saturation, and luminosity. And you can change that t-shirt. Whoops, made a mistake. Got to hook it right to there. No, right to there. Make sure we clip the hue and uh, saturation to the t-shirt. And then we got double click on it and we bring it down and you can change that to any color you want at any point. And you could change darkness, lightness. So for example, if you wanted him to have a blue shirt or it's a, or a melon shirt right there. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I'm sure there are better ways, and if there are, I'd love to learn. So please, in the comments, let me know a better way of doing this. Um, but that's how you color something that's white. And my name is Rich Spazano, and if you like this, please subscribe. Thank you so much.